Charles Wilcox. I play Major Metcalf in this production of The Mousetrap. Um, I started acting at the Actors Guild um, almost 19 years ago, 20 years ago now. And uh, I've worked um, in West Virginia theater. I've worked in the theater in Florida. Uh, and I recently returned to the Actors Guild uh, last year in which I reprised the first uh, role I've ever done in a semi-professional or professional uh, venue when I played uh, Dr. Einstein twice. I've been working in theater for more years than any decent person should, I think. <laughs> My name is David Scheinman, and I'm playing Mr. Paravicini in The, in the Mousetrap. I have also been a lifelong theater person. Uh, I started probably when I was around 12 or 13 uh, in kids' musicals at the Middle Ohio Valley Players, and now I go back and forth anywhere where there's, there's a role to be had or, or work to be done backstage. Uh, well, Major Metcalf is a um, former uh, military man and uh, he has that uh, British military bearing that you might expect from, uh, from a, a classic military fellow from that particular era, don't you know? When it, when it starts out, he's sort of um, the man uh, who is observing a lot, but uh, you don't really notice until halfway through you start thinking, hey, there's more to this guy than, than we thought. Uh, Mr. Paravicini is a fantastic role to play. He's a lot of fun. He's a little zany. He's a little bit creepy. Um, just a little, lot of everything. It all mixes together really, really well. Um, he is the uninvited guest. He's the one who shows up last and kind of announces that everything is done. We're getting ready and ready to roll it. Um, he is. He can be suave at times. He is trying to look older. Um, I wondered when I was thinking about the role, maybe he's not even really Italian. Hmm, maybe he's the devil on earth. Woo! So you've got all this weird creepiness that goes into it, and I really enjoy it. Um, it was fun working, working with the major here. Oh. Um, I don't know, I feel kind of like we were sort of the outsiders. Yeah. Everybody else has got a place. Well, I'm really enjoying the, the whole process. Uh, Rod is a very intense director and that's why I wanted to do this with him because I'd heard things. <laughs> Good things. <laughs> Rod. Just fancy. What a kick he must be getting out of it. <laughs> oh, but just wait. Mrs. Boyle. Till I creep up behind you and you feel my hands on you. <laughs> He's very hands-on. I like to think when I direct, I, w I really want to be there with the actors, kind of participating, and then let them go and see see what's worked out. Um, we've, we've talked about some ways to take this, um, some choices to make or not to make or, or do over again. Um, that's really been a great part. Um, for me, I mean, part of the difficult part of this role is it's an Italian accent. Um, I'm. I've been working a lot on it, and I continue to work to develop it because I don't want to be the weak link. <laughs> Trying to create a character like uh, Major Metcalf um, sort of put aside anything I might have seen before in, in productions of uh, The Mousetrap. And I, I don't want to do something that somebody else had already done. Um, I wanted to be sort of original with it, but at the same time, uh, to be respectful of the characters as, as Christie wrote them and, and created them. And, uh, and the production that we're doing is going to be um, unlike anything that an audience is going to expect from Agatha Christie. Um, they're in for, uh, for an intense ride.